So here is a little benchmark of the GeForce GTX 750. This card, it does not break the bank. It, I bought this card about a year ago for $150, and it essentially runs most modern games at pretty high quality. Not maxed out quality, but it can run them pretty well. So, a little bit more information about my setup is that I have an Intel i5 quad-core CPU 2320 with 3 GHz. So, let's look at my information for Attila when I run it. At least these are my optimal settings. I have anti-aliasing at MLAA, texture resolution is large, Texture filtering is 16 times. Shadows, water, and sky are at their lowest, however. I find that these are way too taxing, and I just don't really see any quality looking at water, sky, or shadows. I'm more of a terrain and unit-based guy. I mean, if I could run them at max, I would, but I just don't really pay enough attention to them to for it to even really matter to me. And then moving on, we got depth of field off, particle effects are quality, <clears throat> screen space reflections are off, grass, trees, terrain, unit details, and building details are at their max quality settings. Unit size is large, porthole quality is 2D, but however, that will have no effect on this benchmark because it only affects the character models in advice and character windows. Then on the very right side, we have unlimited video memory, VSync, and Vinet off, well also SSAO off also, but we do have distortion effects and proximity fading on. So one thing to notice is if that you look in the upper right corner of the screen, you will see the time elapsed and the current FPS. So let's run this benchmark. So as you can see, our FPS averaged around 29.9, but we did have a few massive drops. One when we were really zoomed out on the battle screen, and also when we were moderately close to Onager explosive impacts. And there's three things to keep in mind when watching this video. I do have a video recorder in the background recording all this obviously so that does tax my CPU a little bit I did run this exact same setting without the video recorder running and I had 34 FPS secondly total war games in general general are very CPU taxing the graphics card is not all of everything I mean, there's a lot of calculations, blah, 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 and all, you know, whatever you want to call it going on by the AI, the AI and you on the battlefield, so it is fairly taxing on your CPU. My i5 can handle it somewhat, but 
you might want to keep all that in mind. If if you have an i7, you probably should be good to go. But if you have an i5 or lower, you might have a little bit of issues. Not many. If well, I mean, if you have an i5, you should be good generally. But just keep in mind, Total War games are CPU intensive. And finally, the third thing I was going to mention is that although I did have my unit size as large, if I did turn it up to ultra, I would lose another FPS or two. So the larger the units, the less FPS you got. And again, as what I said in my second point, it is a CPU intensive game. So there you go. That's the GeForce GTX 750 at my optimal settings.